Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. How about that? <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Catch a break today. Yeah, well, always be worse, huh? Oh, like I need some man to be my friend. Show me the first time. Vale. Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, Father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? 
These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Okay, yeah. vamos a ver. Life could Hello, be better. Sir. Oh, are you out of jail already? So much for Hello, tough man. justice. Hey, fellas. Oh, what do you have? Hello. Hey. Okay, hey bye now. Hey, Hello. Hello. Sir. Oh, hello there. What are you doing? Hey there. Como esta, señor? Hey there. Ma'am. How do you do? Hi there. Hello. No voy corriendo porque capaz que me meten deshonor por haber empujado a quien sea sin querer porque se haya puesto en medio. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid just a few old books. Something don't seem right. Who's back here? Uh, what are Looks you like doing this back there? Pulls out or something. Pulls How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Espera. Vamos a hacerlo así, ¿vale? Open the door now. Oh, okay, okay. Just put the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh. Hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Por favor. Please. I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. So... So very interesting. Welcome back, sir. Move yourself. Some of all the dens in the neighborhood get closed, and yet my blood is allowed to reopen. Makes no sense. Brother, brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you arrived. I 
found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Folks, good evening. Good evening, hey, Hansel. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. Funny. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. If no one else will find me a drink, I will go. Y otro por aquí. Tiosísimo el caballo. Se ha quedado tiosísimo el caballo, tú. might find some moonshine. What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, 
I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Hey. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Oh. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Hey. Me está diciendo que vaya con Marco, así que yo voy con Marco. Help me. I need a doctor. You gotta. You gotta. Please do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Uh, okay. Okay. Mira, voy a aprovechar esta animación super gore. Para irme a mear. This is it. Sé que la pasa en el brazo, eh, pero joder. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Fine. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. I'm A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> You do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this.
pull through. Creo que he llegado justo a tiempo. He llegado justo. Es nice de you to stay, but don't fret. He'll make it. That was good work, doctor. Yeah. He's lucky. Wounds like that will kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. Hasta luego. You run out of things to do? Huh. Yep. Mola porque sí, pero bueno, vale. Va a necesitar noche y es de día ya.
That's fire. Mind if I warm my bones? <laughs> Y'all need these Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. And we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. <laughs> Ahora sí. Buenas noches. No te jode. Time to go, boy. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. 